what is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys had this video suggested to me we got denmark explained i uh, definitely love learning about all of scandinavia so uh, y'all know i've been tapping in with sweden i've been tapping in with norway denmark and definitely one i know sweden I, if y'all go to my playlist i probably got like over 100 videos of sweden and probably there with like 20 videos with denmark and norway so i need y'all to send some suggestions you know i'm trying to when i go to sweden I, i'm going to visit all of scandinavia you know i just can't stay in one place i gotta visit it all because it's going to be possible to visit it all within the amount of time so that's what i plan on doing so hey y'all send those suggestions video suggestions if you have discord make sure y'all join the discord that i have the link is in the description y'all can send video suggestions there as well but we're going to check out Denmark Explained. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Send down those recommendations. Hey, Denmark. I can turn this up. Oh, it is up. Hey, guys, and welcome to this very first episode here at Countries Explained. My name is Kenan, and I'll be your host today. Our mission is to provide you with amazing facts and knowledge from every single country in the world. Each video will cover a unique country, and we're giving you one episode on a weekly basis because, nice. you know, time and stuff. Nice. But hey, maybe one day we're doing this thing full time and can pump out videos on a daily basis. Let's see what happens, yeah? We honestly couldn't decide what country to start with. Sure, we could have gone alphabetically, but that kind of felt like something you'd do in 2006, <laughs> right? Or we could have gone with the largest by population Dang. or something similar. Yeah, that probably would have been a good idea. <laughs> Anyways, we decided to just put a big map on the wall, chew on a piece of paper, and shoot it through a straw. Wow. Where the wet paper landed, that's the country we're starting with. And as you already know by the title of this video, we hit Denmark with the wet, pulp-like piece of paper. Which, if you think that's about funny. it, is kind of weird since it's one of the smaller countries on the map. But hey, paper right. does fly in mysterious ways. That's, but, a, that's a very interesting way to pick a video right there let's not waste any more time here and instead jump straight into our very first video denmark it's your time to shine so we're starting off with a segment we'd like to call quick country overview not too shabby of a segment title right Denmark is attached directly to the continent of Europe, where it's one of the smaller countries with an area of 43,095 kilometers squared. However, the Kingdom of Denmark also includes the Faroe Islands as well as the island of Greenland, bumping the area up to a significant larger size of 2,210,579 kilometers squared. Denmark is also a part of Scandinavia, which commonly is the term used for Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. While the term the Nordics also includes Finland, Iceland, and their associated territories such as Greenland, Faroe Islands, and Orland. Orland. Yeah, try to say it yourself. It's not easy. <laughs> Denmark is connected to Europe via its only on-land neighbor, Germany. All the other borders are maritime, with Norway and Sweden to the north and United Kingdom on the very far west, all the way across the North Sea. On the opposite of Denmark being the east side, we have the Baltic Sea, and in between these, we have three passages, which is called, named from west to east, Skagerrak, Katagat, and The Sound, or actually it's called Oresund, but my Danish probably isn't on point here. The population of Denmark is around 5,800,000 which ranks them pretty far down to the list of That's surprising considering that I, I, I know I think I remember how many people was in Denmark and Norway like it's crazy because it seems like Norway is bigger and they have the same amount of people living there that's that's crazy to me I mean Denmark seen I think Denmark probably have a little bit more now that I think about it and it looks smaller than Norway countries and dependent territories by population and we can spot Denmark first at number 115 on this list that consists of 235 countries and territories. Dang, look, yep. Danish or it was Dan right there too. Yep, Norway right there. Huh. I think that's always interesting because Denmark look way smaller than Norway. 15 on this list that consists of 235 countries and territories. 
Danish or Dansk is the official language, and its closest relative is Norwegian, which is spoken in Norway. But most educated Danes do speak a second language as well, particularly English. But languages such as Turkish, Arabic, and German are also spoken at some scale, as well as a few other minority languages spoken mostly by members of the country's various ethnic groups. The official religion of Denmark is Evangelical Lutheran, but the country practices religious freedom, even though an overwhelming majority of Danes, about 85% of them, remained members of the state church called Folkekirken. But other than that, you'll find Jewish synagogues, mosques, and Roman Catholic churches around the country. The flag of Denmark is called Dannebrogen, and it's red with a typical Scandinavian white cross that extends all the way to its edges. And the Danes have taken pride in their flag for a very long time. In fact, it it's the, the oldest, oldest continuously used national flag in the I world. I was about to say, I remember seeing a video saying Denmark's flag was probably the o oldest in the world. Dating back to the 15th of June, 1219. Dang. So what's the history of this country? Let's jump into our history segment and find out. Since the end of the last ice age, people have been migrating from the eastern and southern parts of Europe to the northern area, a place which today includes Denmark. The rich soil, closeness to water, and terrain has ever since helped shape Danish history and culture. One of the most notorious periods in Danish history is the Age of the Vikings. It began around 793 AD with the raid on the English tidal island of Lindisfarne. The Viking Age lasted for about 250 years, and under it, Danish Vikings were quite victorious under their time. One Viking in particular called Sven Sukik, or Sven Forkbeard if translated freely, and his son Knud de Stoa, which translates to something like Knut the Great, were once kings of Denmark, Norway, southern Sweden, Greenland, the Faroe Islands, Shetland, Orkney, and parts Dang, of England. They ran it all. Now that's a handful to keep track of. That is, they was running things back then. Orkney and parts of England. Now that's a handful to keep track of. Then came Christianity. In 965 AD, the Danish king, Harold Bluetooth. Yes, we know, that translation is amazing. Oh, wow. And he was way ahead of his time with that name. <laughs> got baptized. And the Christian religion became a big part of the Danish society. However, it didn't turn the once so brutal Danes into a people filled with peace and harmony just yet. They continued to fight to maintain and expand their lands a few hundred years more. The next major part in Danish history came in 1397 with the Kalmar Union that brought the kingdoms of Norway, Denmark, and Sweden together under a single monarch under the leadership of Queen Margareth I. This peaceful union lasted until the year 1523 when Sweden decided to break out of it, and this was the starting point of a long rivalry between Sweden and Denmark. In the end, Denmark lost the war to Sweden, who took over the parts that today is southern Sweden. This loss was one that huh. really made Den I feel like I never knew that. I feel like I knew that, but or I didn't know that. Especially learning from the Viking. I, I did a couple of videos about the Viking. I don't know if that was, it probably have been, it probably was way after the Viking Age. Starting point of a long rivalry between Sweden and Denmark. In the end, Denmark lost the war to Sweden, who took over the parts that today is southern Sweden. That's this loss was one that really made Denmark into the country it is today. They introduced hereditary and absolute monarchy in the country, and it helped them form the strong, well-organized state it is today. In World War I, Denmark remained neutral, and after the war, their economy started to evolve, all until April 9, 1940, when the still neutral Denmark was invaded by German troops, overwhelmed by the German war machine. The country got occupied for five years under the Nazis. But the light returned to the Danish people. On May 5, 1945, Denmark was free from the German occupation, all thanks to the Grand Alliance, which consisted of the UK, US, and the Soviet Union. Denmark's autonomy started to flourish again, and they became more and more internationally involved with increased exports of design goods, furniture, bacon, and butter. Hey. Today, Denmark is a con- I love the bacon and butter. Design goods, furniture, bacon, and butter. Today, Denmark is a constitutional monarchy ruled by a representative democracy and a strong defender of free trade and human rights. So now you learned everything you need to know about the history of Denmark. Okay, so Denmark. give countries explain some credit on your next essay, will ya? Now, let's go over some of those fun, interesting facts that you have all been waiting for. This is Denmark. They gotta include the Lego story, you know? Here in our next segment. The Danish language has no word for please. What? Danish people simply think that helping another person out is just something you do. And therefore, you should... Is this true? Y'all gotta let me know for my Danish people out there. Is this a true thing? I feel like you say please 
for certain things though, you know? People simply think that helping another person out is just something you do. And therefore, you should not have to beg for it. I kind of like that, to be honest. Speaking of the Danish language, they do have another pretty remarkable word in there, though. It's called huga, and it's basically a word for that cozy feeling of togetherness. The Danish pastry is actually from Austria. Most of us have heard about the Danish pastry called Wienerbrot or Danishes. However, most of us don't know that these are actually from some Austrian bakers that settled themselves in Denmark in the 1840s. Also, this is why it's called Wienerbrot or Viennese bread, bread from Vienna. But that stuff look good though. This is why it's called Wienerbrot or Viennese. Am I trying this? These look very, very delicious. Viennese bread, bread from Vienna. The two oldest amusement parks in the world are in Denmark. Wow. Bakken, which is just outside of Copenhagen, is the oldest in the world. Dang. And the second oldest is called Tivoli Gardens and is based right in the middle of the capital. Lego is from I'm Denmark. About to say. We all love it. I don't even care if you say no. I know you love it. Lego is amazing, period. Hey, and oh. it was invented by the Danish guy Ole Kirk Christensen in the I'm town. About to say, you can't have a Denmark facts or explaining video without Legos. The villains in 1949. No matter where you're at in Denmark, there is a maximum of 52 kilometers to the ocean. So if you want an ocean view, move to Denmark, apparently. Right. So what's the country really famous for in the world? Well, like most Scandinavian countries, it's known for its high quality design and architecture. Brands like Bang & Olufsen are a major player in the sound business. But other than that, they also have the iconic red hot dogs called Pulsa. And then there is Carlsberg, the world famous beer, who probably has the best slogan in the world. Look like a Heineken famous beer who probably has the best slogan in the world ah you see what i did there what about celebrities or other famous people one of the greatest writers hans christian anderson is from denmark and i'm sure you've heard about some of his tales such as the little mermaid or the ugly duckling mads oh, mickelson is. is another famous person the actor has been seen in movies such as doctor strange and rogue one a star wars story or what about the American series know. Hannibal, where he played Dr. Hannibal Lecter himself? And uh. let's not forget about the physicist Niels Bohr, who in 1922 won the Nobel Prize in Physics and Recognition for his services in the investigation of the structure of atoms and the radiation emanating from them. All right, that's that. We could probably speak for an hour more about this amazing <laughs> country, but we promise you guys, we won't rant forever. Just a quick overview of each country in the world, for starters at least. Who knows what the future right. holds? What did you think of this video? We would absolutely love it if you took time to write a comment down below. Tell us some things we didn't mention about Denmark, and take the chance to educate your peers down in the Don't comment the section. The also, what country do you want to see next? As mentioned, we have no order here. We just go with the flow on this one. Okay, Give us some nice. tips. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video and- I enjoyed this video. Uh, I know I did the Netherlands one, but I think they actually even have a part two of the Netherlands, but this was good, this was good. Y'all definitely gotta send me more video suggestions when it comes to Denmark for me to check out. So far, I have been um, with Robe Trotting and the I forgot the family that fast. I just had them in my head. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, there's a family in Denmark and the the rope trotting, another family in Denmark. So I got those two channels. But if y'all know any more, y'all let me know. Let me know for me to check out so I can learn more about Denmark. Some notes before you go type of things as well. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Send those video suggestions to me. Hey, give this video a thumbs up and y'all be blessed, be the best and be you. I'm out.